uh, was a part of the blockade for the, the Hampton Roads area and the water you see behind us. Uh, she represented the Union and uh, protected the area on patrol. The Minnesota was part of the Battle of Hampton Roads as well as the Monitor. The Minnesota came under fire from the Merrimack and the Monitor intercepted the fire and protected the Minnesota during that battle. And uh, the Minnesota was able to free herself from uh, the navigation restraints she was put in and, and continue the fight. Uh, the Monitor solidified her place in uh, naval history as the first battle of uh, the clash of the ironclads at that point in time. Uh, and it ch totally changed the way the Navy ships did battle. Well, the Monitor protected the steam frigate Minnesota and the Battle of the Hampton Roads. And the third ship, uh, Minnesota, is a submarine building built in Hampton Roads. And just so uh, a couple miles up the road from where the third ship, the submarine Minnesota, is being built, uh, the remains of the Monitor are being restored at the Mariner's Museum in Newport News. It's always a great honor to be uh, part of uh, remembering those who have given their, their life for the d defense of the country, but it's especially rewarding to be part of this internment uh, because of the link that it has between the Monitor and the Minnesota. The Navy always emphasizes uh, history, tradition, and it's a great honor to be part of uh, the, the internment of the sailors who lost their life during uh, their service on board the Monitor. The USS Minnesota and the USS Monitor were there for, uh, to effectively blockade for, you know, to keep all the other incoming ships out. And the Minnesota ended up getting stranded on the rocks and the Monitor was there to take care of it, which started the Battle of Hampton. I think it's a great honor that we are looking after sailors of the past. I mean, it's, it's the American way to look after the soldiers and sailors of the past. And this is, you know, this was part of the, uh, the American Navy at the time and we look after our own and to see that they make it to the rightful resting place and are honored the way that they should be it, i mean it's a great thing to do and we should do it for everyone and we are finally bringing them home after they were on the bottom of the ocean for all those years 151 years